Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. Today we are going to start a new master class on how to automate your trades using Excel sheet in any Indian broker. To do this, we have a flow. Let us discuss that flow in complete detail. All right, so this is an Excel sheet and we would like to automate trades from this Excel sheet. We would also want to use a WebSocket to connect Excel sheet for the live data streaming. And as per the live data fluctuation, we would want to real time connect it with a broker and execute trades. Now, as you already know that AlgoFox connects with AMI broker, with MT4, with TradingView, with Charting and with Python. Now this Python can be connected to an Excel sheet and from Excel sheet, the order goes to AlgoFox. From AlgoFox, the trades can be either done in paper trading for virtual stimulation or with live trading in multiple brokers like Fires, Angel, Zerodha, Allies Blue, Upstocks, so forth and so on. So using Excel and AlgoFox, you will be able to automate trades in any of your preferred broker. For that, we have already done the Python code and we have already written an Excel sheet. Let us see how the Excel sheet looks like. So this is the folder where we have this AlgoFox Excel sheet. And this is an AlgoFox Python application and that would connect with a broker's WebSocket and real time stream the data into AlgoFox. So before I start talking about the entire live streaming, let us open this Excel sheet right now. So this is how the Excel sheet looks like. This is one of the most advanced Excel sheet that you will find in this industry. So I'll just zoom in a little bit. You will see there is symbol. Sim in the symbol, you have to write the symbol name of which you want the data. For that particular symbol, we will be fetching the open price, the high price, low price, the LTP, which will fluctuate in real time, the volumes, which will fluctuate in real time, VWAP value, best bid price and best ask price. So in the market depth, the first row, the best bid price and the best ask price will also be fetched here. The previous day's close at how much quantity you want to take a trade in, the direction, whether you want to take a buy signal or a short signal and whether you want to enter or exit and when the, whether the entry is executed perfectly, whether the exit is executed perfectly, all of the details will be visible here. So we, we formed a template. In this template, the moment I write any symbol, the values of these will populate and fluctuate in real time. And then also when I'm taking an entry, I can keep stop loss and target in terms of percentage. I can even trail the stop loss in terms of points, percentage. I can even add buffer for my limit price to avoid slippages. And then if I want to do some time based entry exit, I can have entry time square of time. If I keep, let us say entry time at 920 and if I run this actually at 915, only after 920, the entry will get executed. So you can imagine 920 straddles, triangle, all of that can also be automated using this Excel. And then of course we have a lot of other parameters like whether I want to take MIS trade or NRML trade, whether limit or market or entry stop time, entry start time, so forth and so on. Apart from this, in this Excel sheet, we have developed a lot more advanced module. We are going to cover all those advanced module in coming lessons as well. In today's class, the basic class, we are just going to populate the real time values of our favorite scripts here. And we are going to push order from this excel sheet first into paper trading mode and finally into live trading with our preferred broker so let's start the process i'll close this and here before i start this excel excel we also have a credential algo fox this is an excel sheet that is binded with this python program when i run this python program it will fetch the values from this excel sheet and authenticate the broker apis now, there are many brokers in India who provide you WebSocket data of live prices. So I'll just open this. And in this, we have two subsheets. One is a credential, other is a check. In the credential, I have to 
mention my broker details for example i am using one broker whose name username password and 2fa key a lot of brokers uses 2fa to authenticate so if i don't want to manually press the authentication keys i can just put my 2fa key here my access token api key and secret here there are many brokers who give you unique key and secret and based upon that automatically the token would be generated and automatically the flag from zero would become one and the session would start and in the check here i have algofox credential so in the algofox you can mention your algofox user id and algofox password and the role will be a user so we also have our own api and you can find the documentation at api.algofox.in so the python gets connected to our apis via api.algofox.in documentation where we would need your user id and password to authenticate the session and that's it i'm not going to change anything in this excel sheet so effectively i have a algofox excel where i will be fetching the scripts data and also i have one more excel where i've already stored my broker credentials and algofox credentials so that my python can auto pick it and live stream the data in this particular excel also to make sure that the live streaming happens seamlessly we have chrome driver here so that as and when the google chrome gets updated this chrome driver will also update in real time so that our python program runs seamlessly now all i have to do is just double click on this excel sheet and the moment i do this python program runs it will now log in into my broker login is successful it will start the websocket data and the websocket data is running and it automatically has started this excel sheet now the same excel sheet that i was showing you a few minutes before is now connected with market data real time so i'll just zoom in and now let me show you how exactly the data populates here for example if i want the data of any equity symbol i'll just use command nsc and then let us say dlf the moment i write this you will see the data is populated in real time open high low the ltp which will also fluctuate in real time volume vwap best bid price best ask price all of that is populated in real time now similarly if i want another one more symbol let us say nsc svin that's it you will see again you have open price high price low price ltp volume vwap best bid best ask close everything coming in real time now if i want to send orders from this excel sheet to algofox it can be done very very easily to do that let us simply go to the algofox so i'm in trade.algofox.in i've used the same user id that i have binded in my python so this is one particular algofox user in this watch list i can create my own watch list for example i have two symbols dlf and state bank of india in dlf i want to buy shares worth rupees 5000 and in state bank i want to buy only one share right similarly i can create symbols for futures for options for commodity for currency everything if you want to know the format to write these symbols for different segments we have sheet one where we have given them many formats for example for cash it is this way for weekly option for monthly option for stock future for stock option for commodity futures all of the formats are given here again in the sheet two there are a lot of calculations for example um, if you want to calculate pcr ratio if you want to check the current volatility index if you want to know max pain max loss and a lot of other option strategies format is also here we are going to cover all of these things also in detail in our coming lessons but in today's lesson we are going to stick to simple concepts that is automating trades using this excel in paper trading mode to begin with for example here i can mention one one quantity again the quantity mentioned here does not matter if you have already mentioned the quantity in algofox so in algofox i have mentioned the quantity as for dlf i want to buy shares worth rupees 5000 and for state bank of india fixed one share so even if i mention anything else here it will still not matter in algofox whatever you mention the quantity will get overwritten now here i have direction buy if i want i can use direction there are two direction either it will be buy or it will be a sell so 
I can either keep a direction as buy or a direction as sell. If I want to short, I can keep direction as sell. So I can delete this and write as sell. And if I want to buy State Bank of India, it will be buy. Now, to execute trades from this Excel sheet, I can use multiple Excel formulas so that when that command becomes true, the trade can automatically trigger. Or if I want to manually push the order, in this entry signal command, in this N cell, I can either write as true or one. The moment I write as true, you will see order submitted. And in my Excel sheet, in my algo fox here, in the order log, you will see short DLF is complete. And just now at 115.58, the order got executed as well. So the net position, you will see DLF worth 5,000 rupees is sold and in the paper mode, I can see my unrealized PNL also live, and this is how the position looks like in the paper mode. Now, if I want to exit this position using Excel sheet, again I can do it. Again, for the exit signal, I have to just write as true. And there you go. Order is submitted. Come back here. In the net position, the order is gone. In the order book, you will see short and cover simultaneously, right? So here we did a shot at 115 at 116 we covered it up this way if you want to automate trades using excel sheet you can do it now similarly i'll just once the orders are completed you just have to delete entry signal exit signal because if you want to take the trade again you'll have to delete them now not only this i can take trade in fno segment also for example if I want to trade in weekly options, let us say for October weekly option, I'll go with NFO, Nifty, 23, O stands for October, 12 is the expiry and let us say 19,800 call. The moment I write this, you will see the data is getting populated and currently 19,800 call has this value 63.25. Similarly, if I want 19,800 put value, I can mention it here and there you go. Now I'm getting 19,800 call value as well as put value. Now, as I said, in this Excel, you can do whatever you want. I can even check the difference between these two premiums. For example, I can write a mathematical function where I'm just taking LTP of call minus LTP of put and there you go. Right now, this 66 row is giving me the difference between call value minus put value. This is just one example to show you how you can use call, put, different spreads and check their combined premium, whether the combined premium is in positive or negative. And if it is in positive, you can take it, you can trigger an entry. If it is in negative, you can trigger an exit, so forth and so on. So there are endless possibilities that you can do here. Similarly, you can take two weekly calls, two monthly calls, add the combined sum of call and put of weekly, add the combined sum of call and put of monthly, subtract them. And if the value is greater than some a desired value, then you have to enter. All those things are possible. So for example, right now it is plus 15. I can even write a command that whenever this value goes in negative, only that time I have to fire call and put both simultaneously into my broker terminal. Th these are something that I can definitely write and uh, execute. This is some, and we will do all of these drill in our upcoming lesson. Right now we have done a drill on paper mode. Let us do the exact same drill on live trading as well. So what I'm going to do is instead of paper on algo fox, I'll simply go to auto mode in auto mode. I am going to go to trade settings. In the trade settings, I'm going to choose my broker as Fires. We have a special association with Fires. If you open an account with our referral link in Fires, you get this Excel sheet at flat 80% off. The price of this Excel sheet is 15,000 rupees a one-time price for lifetime validity. But if you open an account with us in Fires, you get this Excel sheet to automate your trades at just 3,000 rupees. Now, I'm just going to generate token in FIRES. I'm going to add my mobile number. And there you go. Right now, I have 2,26,000 rupees in this FIRES account. 
just to showcase you i will also simultaneously log in into fires account here side by side so this is the same account and let me show you how excel will fire orders here now i'll just go to excel again just minimize this here and just show you how fast the orders gets executed in this fires account for example in the entry signal if i write true immediately the order will get executed into my fires terminal so this is so I'll just write true and you see dlf order is executed similarly in state bank of india if i write true immediately you will see state bank of india also getting executed similarly the exit signal if i write true here dlf will be squared off and similarly if i write true here state bank of india will also get squared off so this way within fractions of second excel can automate trades in any of your preferred broker using algofox today in basics of excel masterclass we have just learned how to populate live data from web socket using broker api on excel sheet how to connect it with algofox and how to fire order in paper and live mode in the next class i am going to teach you some advanced option strategies on excel sheet that you can build on your own and how you can automate trades when certain conditions become true without any manual interference so i hope you like this session see you all in the next class Thank you.